What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Before you start laughing and go, how the hell can you be talking about how the Springbok can beat the All Blacks? Hear me out for a second because it is possible. Now I'm not saying it's possible tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be one hell of a hard game because we all know the talent that the All Blacks bring. We all know how strong they are at home. It is going to be tough. They have haven't been defeated at home for quite some time. They've been number one for quite some time. Their playing skills are brilliant. They have chosen an outstanding team that are facing the Springboks tomorrow. And we all know Springboks have been struggling. They haven't been the strongest team that we all know and love and respect. Or hate. Some do hate. I've heard of it. But one thing's for sure. South Africa can indeed beat the All Blacks. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow. But I think it could happen in South Africa in a few weeks' time. Now, these two amazing rugby nations face each other three time, more times, obviously including tomorrow, before the pool stage of the World Cup. Now it's going to be an epic game, that pool or group stage of the World Cup. But one thing's for sure, South Africa will need to beat the All Blacks at least once before then to gain confidence now a lot of you might say that is impossible that can't happen because the all blacks are just too strong it can happen and the trick is how they play now i'm no coach or skillful coach like the international guys and i'm no professional analyst but i do have some tips for the springboks if you are listening now this video was noticed by the Springboks because one of my videos featured in the Springboks versus England tour ad. So if you're listening, let's try and motivate you guys. Now, in order to beat the All Blacks, you've got to play their game. You've got to play their game. And this is a question I want to ask nearly every coach out there. Why haven't the other nations adapted or gotten close to the All Blacks. Why are the All Blacks so dominant? Now we talk about how it's uh, how the rugby is bought or uh, produced in school boy level, uh, colleges, uh, clubs. It is strong and determined and the passion within is definitely shown throughout the country. Now I'm not a professional of New Zealand rugby but I know there's so much passion that goes into rugby within the, uh, the country. And we can see it produced by the hackers, by the the, the, the the love and spirit from the fans around the world, the diehard fans. Um, you can see it. You can see how much rugby and winning in New Zealand means to them. But why can no coach become as dominant or take their team as dominant as where Graham Henry and Steve Hansen have taken the All Blacks? Why haven't we adapted to the skillfulness within what All Black Rugby is all about. Why haven't we adapted on how strong they are, how quick they are, how fast they are? It's quick, fast, same thing. How, how tactically brilliant they are. Why cannot be answered? Anyone have that question for me? Because it should, pe coaches need to learn to adapt. Since Jake White, We've had Peter de Villiers, we've had Hanika Meyer, we've had Asda Kutsia, and we've had, um, well, we have Rassi Erasmus. Now, Jake has produced success with the Rugby Championship, or sorry, Tri-Nations then, so has Peter de Villiers. Hanika didn't seem to, I know we beat them in South Africa, but we can't dominate them in their own country. Asda Kutsia, we all know his record, he broke records, not in a good way though. Rossi has the test. He's got the biggest game of his coaching career tomorrow. Now, a lot of saying if he loses, should he be fired? Hell no. You can't fire someone just because they're going to probably maybe lose to the All Blacks. He's been in this coaching business for not even more than half a year. Give the guy time. Give the guy a break. Alistair, in his shocking performance and record, he got two years. Give Rashi the World Cup and a chance because I really think he's going to take us to the next level. So, how are we going to beat the All Blacks? They are amazing. They are brilliant. They are, as I said, tactically fantastic in everything they do. But what is missing? We need to play the game. 
We need to run the ball. We need to stop kicking away for crap. And when I say that, if we watched South African, South African rugby in general, and I'm including Curry Cup, Super Rugby, um, and obviously international rugby, when we are under pressure, we kick the ball away. Sometimes we kick it far and out, which sometimes works. Sometimes we kick it straight down the throat of the fullback or the players in the back line. Sometimes we kick it right in front of where the, the fly-off was. And sometimes we just stand there lost and, the, and the, the defense or the attacking team just totally dominates, gets the ball, scores a try. Why do we keep falling into the same trap? We've seen it in many instances where teams, South African teams, just kick the ball away and continue to lose it. And do you know why the All Blacks are so good? It's because they get the ball and they run it back. They run it towards the, their opponents and they pretty much nearly always score a try or get close enough in order to put out a, a phase plan to get the team moving. There's none of this stupid kicking. Yes, obviously, they, there have been times when they have done that. Hello, this team is human. We all make mistakes. We all, we all struggle. But majority of the time, the ABs just get it right. And South Africa, or Russi and the boys, need to learn to adapt and, and go within that way. Because otherwise, we're never going to get there. Now, I've darted down 10 points that I reckon we need to do in order to beat the All Blacks. Now, what I've said is the error rate has to be, at, the errors have to be at this absolute lowest. We can't make so many errors. We've got to concentrate hard properly onto the game. Otherwise, look what happened last week. South Africa could have beaten the All Blacks, uh, the, the Wallabies, but they made too many errors and we lost the game. Produce an accurate first phase performance. So important. Respect your possess possession. Don't lose your possession. Otherwise, you're going to lose the damn game. Keep the ball alive. Speed things up. And that's also what South Africa do. We dawdle. We, we, we wait for things to come when we actually need to move quicker in order to achieve the goal, achieve the try, achieve the movement, achieve the set piece. Keep the ball alive and speed things up. Rush the defense to put pressure on the attacker. To, or rush it. Just get them something happening. Get them moving instead of taking your time and dawdling. Because we do that. Counter attack at pace so important and that's where the All Blacks are so strong. Their pace is brilliant. Play direct rugby. Dominate up and win territor the territorial battle. Gain the mental edge and confidence over a team like the All Blacks. Because if you do that, you at least in the right direction of maybe picking up a victory. And then belief you have to believe that you can beat the All Blacks so often. For example, 57 0. No. We didn't believe that we can score a point. We were so mentally drained, so mentally shocked that we just couldn't come back. Now, that is not the Springbok way. The Springbok way is when we play the All Blacks, we play the best rugby we've ever played because there are incredible rivals we have so much respect for the old blacks the the coaching staff the players the fans we've got a history i mean a lot of supporters of the old blacks are in this country so we know it we can feel the passion that the old blacks share but we need to believe in ourselves if we want to win we can't think like what a lot of us, myself included, are saying, all right, because we're playing in New Zealand, we are going to lose. It shouldn't be the attitude. It should be we are going to win. Sia needs to, Sia Khaleesi needs to take that team and drill it into the, those boys to say, we can beat the All Blacks. They've had their ups and downs. Yes, they've been winning, but they struggled in some times against Argentina. They lost to Australia last year. They can be beaten. South Africa can do it. We have the players. And enough of this quotable. We've got a good team. 
we got players that are there because they can play the game. Yes, we will all disagree with the selection here and there, but we've got a good Springbok squad that have the, the playing capacity, the skill level to beat the All Blacks. We've seen some of the Lions players that are in this very Springbok team beat the odd All Black team in Super Rugby. Why can't it happen in the Springbok team? And it all goes once down, once again, to how you bring these boys up. A scary stat that I've, I've picked up because um, earlier today and this it is the Bok record versus the All Blacks how the rivalry has declined from 1991 to 2009 the overall win percentage was 42 percent average score was 15 to 18 points well obviously to the All Blacks but it was 42 percent 53 percent win ratio for South Africa and 22 away we've never been strong away we all know that but that was not bad but hear this in 2010 to 2015 15 percent win rate 33 percent at home zero away now, if that doesn't scare you or give you warning signs to what the hell are we doing wrong, what can we do to better, then I don't know. We need to figure this out, guys. We need to play the game. Average score, 17 to 26 victory towards the All Blacks. And then, obviously, we've only played two games against them in the past year. But 2016 record, naught. Overall percentage, naught at home, naught away. Points difference overall negative 158. Points difference at home negative 43. Points difference away negative 100, negative 85. And the average score is 13 to 45. Now the result tomorrow is going to be interesting. A lot of you are predicting a walkover. A lot of a drumming. A lot of you are predicting close game. Some are even predicting springbok victory now you all know me i'm the man of pos positivity i always want my country and my team to produce the results and so many other people want south africa to, to be too competitive the 10 14 rugby show those legends who analyze the games better than anyone else here on youtube or pretty much anywhere they are so good at what they do you can see in gareth's voice when he talks he wants South Africa to catch a wake up. He wants them to produce the results and so do I, okay? Albeit I'm a South African so I have to. But so many people want that rivalry back. But in order to do that, you've got to follow the points that I mentioned. You've got to play the game the way the All Blacks play. You've got to bring it to them. But most importantly, you've got to have the confidence and the belief that you can beat the All Blacks. If you don't have that, you stand no chance in hell. Now, can we beat the All Blacks tomorrow? I don't think so. I hate to say it, it kills me, but I don't see us winning tomorrow. Can we beat the All Blacks at Loftus Fast in Pretoria in a couple weeks' time? I pretty much think so. It's going to be hard, but we can do it. Why, you may ask? Check last year's result. We got thumped, 57 nil. Come down to South Africa, we lost by one point. Told me we don't have the passion. Told me we, South Africa don't have the heart. We do have the heart. We do have the team. We do have the belief. We do have the management system. We do have the fans to support our country. We just need to believe in ourselves. So, boy Keith, all the best for tomorrow. It is going to be the hardest game of the year. But believe in yourself. If we lose this game by less than 15 points, I will be here tomorrow on the recap, a proud man. If we get drummed, I'm going to be upset and hurt. But I'm still going to have that belief system that we can beat the All Blacks. We'll have to wait and see what happens. So that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Something different. Hope you enjoyed it. All Blacks fans. All the best to your guys tomorrow. It's going to be tough, but I am excited and I can't wait for that game. It's going to be intense.
that I can tell you. But let's hope we can see a competitive game. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, make sure you're going to subscribe so you can keep up to date with all future videos. Videos coming out tomorrow. The recap of South Africa versus New Zealand. As well as, hopefully, if I can get it out in time, Argentina versus Australia. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another video. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.